a panther. Like, like this, like this big. See, Josephine, it was, it was like an elephant. <laughs> oh, that was no panther. Now, that was just the biggest lie in all the Alleghenies. <laughs> Don't you call me an old liar, mister. Oh. Old man, you've been a gunsmith. You've been a shopkeeper back in Pennsylvania all your born days. You never hunted nothing but customers. <laughs> before that, I'm talking about before that, when I was young like you. I was a surefire hunter. And I tell you that I trailed that panther right over the Alleghenies. I remember that I started on a Tuesday and I trailed him right through a Thursday. You old men sure are something. Or you'll make up anything to prove you still got vinegar in your veins. I don't make nothing up. I know the woods like the back of my hands. I can trail, I can hunt, and I can fight as good as any of you dumb yearlings. <laughs> I tell you, I climbed the Alleghenies, I crossed the Ohio, and I got that panther right by the Susquehanna. The where? The Susquehanna. The Susquehanna! <laughs> what, are you deaf or something? <laughs> and what's more, I put a rifle ball through that cat's eyes at 100 yards. Oh, oh now. You crossed the Ohio, then the Susquehanna. Huh? Did you hear that? <laughs> what are you crazy loons? What are you laughing at? You can't cross the Ohio and then the Susquehanna. It's the other way around. <laughs> you don't even know the country you're making up tales about. <laughs> now, listen. I want some respect, you hear? Oh, yeah. I want some respect from you. Well, then don't tell lies, old man. I ain't a liar and I ain't an old man. I'm going to prove both of them points at the... Come on, finish this off. I'll take one of you, two of you. It doesn't matter which. Come whoa, on, whoa, right whoa, here. Get going, that serpent. Get him go. Donald Boone, I'm on your side. Let me down. Put me down, will you? Alex, don't pay any attention to him. Them rivers. Them blasted rivers. I got them mixed up, that's all. Anybody can make a mistake, Alex. Maybe, but you know, when I make a mistake, it's a beaut. Going west, and I set the Ohio before the Susquehanna. Ah, it's, it's mud. My brains is turned to mud, you know. Maybe they're right. Maybe I ain't good for anything anymore. Alex, you're just speaking pure de old, unadulterated hogwash. You know, I bet you can teach me things about the woods I never knew before. You know, I never should have come here. For 30 years, I hunted in the Alleghenies, and that's the truth. I believe you, Alex. Sure I did. And then I, I went to Lancaster, and I uh, set me up in the gunsmithy business. And for 25 years, I made me a good living, me and my family. And I taught my son, Jess, all about the gun-making business. And then when I got close to 70, see, I think about retiring. So I give the business to Jess. But, but he, he folds up everything and comes out here. And I come with him. Do you know what I've done? Do you know what I've done, Danny? Well, Alex... I gave my life away. That's, that's what I've done. And I have become a burden to everybody. Well, now, you listen to me. As far as I'm concerned, you're still a ring-tailed he-man. Well, you're darn tootin' I am. You're darn tootin' I am. And I am gonna fight to make them people admit that. You know something? You and me are going to have to go hunting soon. And I'll bet you can learn me things as sure as there's day and night. Well, I sure can. Yes, I can. It'd be a pleasure to teach you a thing or two. Well, that makes me feel better, you saying that. Yeah, that makes me feel real prime. Tree. From the 
coonskin cap on the top of old Dan to the heel of his rawhide shoe. The ribbonest, roaringest, fightingest man the frontier ever knew. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. And he fought for America to make all Americans free. What a fool was a fool, what a queen, a mature was he. When it comes time to go to bed, thanks, sure, do slow down when you get those boxes. Pa? Mr. Hemming? Old Alex? Why does he act so silly? Is that any way to talk about your elders? <laughs> I mean, why does he tell those stories? Well, you know, I figure when I get to be his age, I'll have a few yarns to spin. And I don't reckon I'll exactly like it if every word I say gets doubted. Well, you're different, Pa. Who am I? He tells it. He makes everything sound bigger and better than the way it is now. Well, if that's how he remembers it, who are we to say he was wrong? We weren't there. Still makes it hard to believe. You know, Israel, something keeps running through my memory. I seem to remember my Paul telling me about a, a hunter named Peter Hemming. Old Alex? I recall that he said that uh, Peter. Painter Hemming was something to behold. That he knew more about guns and hunting than anybody in the whole of the Alleghenies. Is that the truth? Well, my Paul never lied. Why should yours? <sighs> See you in the morning. Night, Pa. Night, Israel. You know, Becky, it's a terrible thing. It sure is. You know, a man leads a full life. He's a great hunter, runs a business, raises a family, supports his kids, puts in a full working day every day of his life. And one day he wakes up and he feels like he's just being tossed aside. Out here in the wilderness, it's even harder. At least when a man retires in the city, he can visit friends, see old places. Out here, he's a stranger. Well, he's still a strong old man. He deserves a life of his own. You know, I think I'll visit the Hemmings while you're out checking the beaver traps. You know something? I think that's a real good idea. <laughs> Ow! I'm sorry, Dan. I hope the Indians don't attack while I'm all wrapped up in this. <laughs> what are you trying to do, Pa? Hurt yourself? Get out of here. I got work to do. Give me that axe. What do you want to do? Get a smoke for like this in the hot sun? Get too old for this kind of thing. So you let go. I can still do a day's work. And I want that. He's I want right, Pa. Be sensible. Be sensible. Be sensible, she says. Now, do you want me here or do you want me in my grave? Because that's where I'll be unless you let me live like a man. Of course we want you with us, Pa. That's just it. We don't want you to get sick or hurt yourself. We want you with us. Why don't you let us take care Please, of you, Pa? Well, then let me do the things that make me feel I'm alive. Mrs. Boone. Hello, Mrs. Hemming. <laughs> Mr. Hemming? Oh. Daniel sent you, didn't he? About hunting, about him and me going hunting together, right? No, no, I just came visiting. Well, it's not about hunting? Oh, he doesn't have time to go hunting now. Fact is, he and Kelly and Ben are going out to check the beaver traps. They're over the tavern now, getting ready to go. What, now? Well, they're not going to go without me, I tell you. Any salt and cornmeal. Ooh, how about a spot of rum? Nights get mighty cold up there. <laughs> Cincinnati, you always think of the most important things. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. I'm going with you. You promised I'm going with you. Be out of your mind. That's all we need. None of your sass, mister. All right, when do we start, Daniel? What will I take with me? Oh, Alex, listen. Huh? Listen. Yes? This is different from her. You know that. This be too hard on you. We may be out there as long as a week. Is that all? I got plenty of ginger in me. Ah, this is a man's work, and I'm going to do it, huh? Come on, Alex, you creak. You couldn't even keep up with us. I'll pass you, mister, and make you run to keep up close. Seventy years <laughs> old, and he wants to check beaver traps. That's right, in case you've forgotten it. Seventy's a fine right age. 
And I'm still growing. <laughs> oh, Alex. Yes, listen. Yes, I'm listening. Not this time. It's too much for you. You? What are you breaking your promise, Daniel? Oh, no, Alex, please. No. Please. It's all right. No, I'll just uh, sit in the sun and I'll grow rusty like an old piece of iron. Bit by bit, I'll die. I give it up, you know. Trying to live a life of my own. I give it up. I'll just start walking to my grave. Alex, go get your rifle. You're coming along with us. He was only fooling me. He was only fooling me. Oh, you know, all the time. I'll be right with you now. And also, right back. My pa's a mighty good man, Mrs. Boone. All his life he's done for me. Now I want to take care of him. You know, make his days sunny and easy. Hey, I'm going here, my Jupiter. I'm going. Yes, sir, he's going to take me with him. Oh, you'll have fresh meat, Bula. You'll have bear, and you'll have buck, and it's as big as a horse. You can't make a trip like that. It's too much for you. You're talking. I've been making trips like this before you were born. What's well, more, you'd just be a burden to them, Pa. Yeah. You just get in their way. They don't need you. And you don't need me for anything here, either. You're not going to go, Pa. I'm not going to let you. What? Get away! Get out of my way! Alex! Oh. oh, son. Just look what you brought me to. Just look. That's real sweet singing. I hope them beavers like it. And the Shawnees. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking of old Alex. That goings on back at the wagon. That sure was something. Threatened to shoot his own boy. Well, tomorrow when we run those trap lines, Cully, you can take the north end. Ben, you take the south, I'll take the middle. All right? Yeah, suits me. Yeah, me too. Rendezvous back here about sundown. Well, then, if we can stop thinking about an old man and get some sleep and think of Beaver. <laughs> ourselves a life we can live. What are you doing out here? I ain't asking you no questions, mister. What are you looking for? Hey, get away from that. Get away. You got your whole blasted workshop in there. Stocks, barrels, tools. You're darn right I got them. It ain't none of your business, but I'm finding me a new settlement. 
Up this road? Yes, you bet your life up this road. Get up. Get out of here now. Now, you're heading straight into Shawnee country. You'll be hauling all that stuff right in her hands. You ain't letting me do anything, are you? None of you. You ain't letting me have no place to go. Now then, get out of me path. You're going home, Alex. That's where you're going. <laughs> Probably should have been back by now. Well, maybe his traps are full. Yeah. Take more time. Yeah, maybe. Daniel. Daniel. Ben. Daniel. He shot at me. Oh, oh, Alex, he shot me out there. He done it. He just shot me. I was. Mighty lucky. He just creased you. He's running away. Got that wagon load of rifle parts and he's heading straight into Shawnee country. He's what? He said he's looking for a new life and bang, he shot me. I've been out there for hours. You think you'll be up to traveling? Look, I'll... I'll be all right. Just give me a little bit. Be... I reckon this is the end of running trap lines. We're going to go after old Alex and that wagon before the Shawnee collect them both. We'll have to split up. What for? Well, there's no telling where he's left the trail. We'll scatter it till one of us pick it up. And when one of us does? Well, we'll try to convince him his best place is at home. Listen, you ever try arguing with a lightning storm? Nope, but this time we're going to try. Ben, why don't you hide our gear in that old stump over there? I'll take care of his wound. Right. Quick for them horses, you'll live forever. What are you doing? Let me alone, will you? You stop that now, you. You stop it, will you? Come on, you heathens, you're going to regret this the rest of your lives. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Get away from that wagon. These are yours, old man? Sure they're mine, you bear greased fool. They're my stock. They're my business. You can put these together? Of course I can. I've been doing it for more than 20 years. Now, all of that is mine, and nobody gets a scrap of it. You'll have to fight me first. What? Are you the chief? I am Great Bear. How old are you? Almost eight times ten winters have passed for Great Bear. That's nearly 80. You are much younger. Well, I ain't as ancient as... Well, now, the truth is good for the soul. <laughs> I tell you, there ain't that much distance between us, Chief. <laughs> so because we are both ancient, we will sit and talk, eh? All right. Young people show respect here, don't they? It is not true. Among us, the fathers are honored. <laughs> you ain't never been to Boonesboro, I tell you. You have come from Fort Boonesboro? Come. I left. And why? An old man ain't honored there at all, at all. He is like a dog left to go wandering on the edge of the camp, eh? That's right, exactly. A dog, I couldn't have said it better myself. He is like a bone thrown away, like a horse nobody wants. That's right, you know, we think like two peas in a pod. <laughs> so you, you left? Well, I, I ran away. You know, I, I wanted to find a, a place that I could be useful in. You have left children behind, eh? A son and a daughter-in-law. The stumpheads. You know, all they wanted me to do was sit around in the sun and warm me bones. <laughs> I know, I know. Among the pale faces, they do not understand 
There is much wisdom with the old, much to be learned from them. Fought in the wars? Mm, yes. Oh, yes, Quebec. I was with Wolf in 58. I was in King George's wars in 40. I too have fought in wars. <laughs> the English, French, Spanish. <laughs> you and me, we we have seen much and known much, eh? <laughs> yeah. I think we're the two smartest fellas in the village, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh, thank you kindly. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. Old man, among us, white hair is highly honored. We are leaders and chiefs because we are old. You may stay with us, old man. Stay with you? Live with us. Here you will be honored. Here you will get much attention. You will have position. You will work among us and be highly prized. Work? You will put the guns together for us. You will be sacred and valuable as a great chief. And you will be much respected. That is so. Well, why not? <laughs> you know, I'd be listened to at least, wouldn't I? And I mean, I'd be useful in the world again. And I, I could say the things that I've learned and people could learn from me. Then you will stay? Yes, of course I'll stay. Of course I'll stay. I mean, from now on, I will live and work among the Shawnees. Brother! I will put these guns together. I will work for you and with you. Yeah! Ah, thank you, sir. All right, now, where I was. Now, first, I swum the Susquehanna, and then I, I swum the Ohio. They ain't gonna catch me on that one again, that one again, no. And there, on the Ohio shore, I run right smack into that huge panther. The great cat of the forest. Ah! Oh, yeah, that's it! Now that's exactly like he sounded. All right, he turned. He saw me. I tell you, his eyes were like, like burning stars. And he crouched. And I lifted me a rifle. It was a brown best. They didn't have the long guns in them days. And I aimed. And then, and then that panther charged. <laughs> yes, he came like a bolt of lightning. He was the biggest cat in the entire world. And I waited, and I waited until he was about six feet in front of me. And then, bang, I pulled the trigger. And then I leapt lightly aside, and that cat fell like a stone at me side. I tell you, I had got me the greatest and the biggest cat in the entire Alleghenies. <laughs> yes, he went from there, at least over to there. <laughs> the Earth Spirit has sent us a great hunter, the Feather. And now, to our brother, we give the hunter's feather. We honor the skill and courage of a great hunter. Our new brother is now a warrior. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you kindly. You will teach us, huh? Hmm? How to hunt the panther your way. Of course I will. <laughs> Too slow, I think. Hey! Ouch. 
following you. Following me? Why? What for? Well, for one thing, you almost killed Cully. Oh, that is nonsense. God, if I'd have wanted to kill him, I'd have killed him. In the first place, no bullet could hurt that stump head. And in the second place, I aim very careful so as just to crease his head a little. Yeah. Here you sit, feasting and celebrating with the Shawnee. Oh, what's wrong with feasting and celebrating? Nothing, except you keep promising to fix those guns. What have you been spying on me? Listen, I don't take to people sticking their nose into my business. Well, it's not entirely your own business. I don't see why not. I haven't got time to argue. I've got to get you out of here. Get me out of here? Get you home. Oh, what are you talking about? This is my home. This is where I am living from now on. Here, they, they treat me as though I was still alive. Here, they know my worth. Here, they still respect old age. So this is my home. You really mean what you're saying? You're not just stalling them or tricking them? Of course I, I'm not tricking them. I never meant anything so hard in my life. See, these are my people. And like the Bible says, where they go, I will go also. They, they honor me. Is that why they've got a Shawnee standing guard outside your tent? He ain't got me. You know, he's more like my, uh, my servant. Now, that's right, if I want anything, he's up and away like a jackrabbit to do my bidding. Now, that is respect, my boy. Do you really mean to go through with this rigmarole? You're going to make those guns. Well, why do you think that I left Boonesboro? I wanted to find a life that I could be useful in. All right. Now, if the Indians make my life useful, then I am living with the Indians. And fair is fair. If they give me life, I give them guns. Do you know what they're going to do with those guns? Yes, they're going hunting. For people. They're going to use them to attack Boonesboro. That is a lie. Oh, sure. They honor you. They'll make you some kind of wizard because you can give them power. Those guns are a threat to Boonesboro. They're a threat to your son, your daughter-in-law. Old man. Old man, you call? What's that? I hear voices. Oh. <laughs> no. No, that must have been me. I, I'm sorry, son. I, I think I was just sleep-talking. It's a habit I got, you know. Now go away and leave me be. I, I want to go back to me snoozing. I want to finish a little dream I was having. Now listen. Yes, I can prove it. What those guns are for. I can walk into this camp tomorrow. Walk up to that old chief and ask him about a truce. And you know what he's going to say? No. No truce. Do you want me to prove it to you? No. I'll make my own proof. All right. Tomorrow you ask the chief. No, don't tell me what to do. I don't need any help from you. I'll prove it in my own way. All right. Tomorrow night I'll come back here. If you need me during the day, I'll be back at the hill behind the camp. I ain't climbing no hill to fetch you. I tell you what. There's a little creek just south of the camp. You hide in the underbrush just next to that. All right. Down by the creek in the underbrush. Alex, I'm sorry. I know how you feel. No, you don't. You don't know nothing. Here I finally found a proper place for myself. And you come creeping in here, putting a worm in the apple. Get out of here. Get out! Leave me alone! All right, tomorrow then. I'll meet you down at the creek in the underbrush. Leave, Leave me be. Leave me be. Couldn't let well enough alone. Really? 
morning. Good morning, my brother. You have slept well? Like a rock. I come to talk to you, great bear. Oh? Yes, thank you. You are troubled, my friend? Well, maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I have been thinking much about my brother's happiness. He is alone. But he is still young and still a man. What? <laughs> Loneliness is poor meat for a man. So today, I think I will send him a squaw, a fine girl, to take care of him. That is what troubles you, eh? <laughs> what do you mean? Be a squaw? That's just what I need. So, you will start putting the guns together today. Yes, now, you see, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Huh? Uh, it's, a, it's a question about them guns. Now, we, we're brothers, right? Hmm? And a man that can talk honest with his brother, can he not? A man should talk honest with everyone, my friend. Well, that's my sentiments, too. I am glad. Yes. Now, what is it about the guns? Well, now, are you going to, uh, like, use those guns for a attack on Boonesboro? Uh, it, uh, it is the young warriors who want the guns put together. And for Boonesboro. But it is not hard to understand. Do they not take our food from us? The deer and the bear? Do they not take our land from us? Oh, yes. Do they not come as strangers and drive us out? Yes. Then they are the enemies of your Shawnee brothers, are they not? Yes. And they are your enemies, too. They laugh at you. They make you feel as if you are nothing. They have driven you toward your grave. Is that not true? Oh, yes. Yes, that is. So, if we use the guns against them, what difference should that make to you? None. No, no, not at all. None at all. Good. Then we are still brothers. And today I shall send you a fine squaw. <laughs> thank you kindly. Great bear, thank you kindly. You wish something? What? Does the honored one wish something? I wish to be alone. I'm thinking. Can't a man think in peace? You have decided? What? You have been thinking. You have decided. Now, what can two feathers do? Nothing, Blasted. Nothing. I've decided to take a bath. within spitting distance of my tail there. Uh, oh. Well, you were right about the guns. They want me to start uh, putting them together right now. Got to get you out of here. Me and my wagon. Huh? Well, we don't need your wagon. Without you, they can't do anything with those guns. You mean leave me wagon? Listen, Alex, it'll take a miracle to get you out, let alone that wagon. Well, then we'll have to, then we'll have to make the miracle. Uh, that wagon is my business, my stock in trade. You know? I can't, uh, I, I ain't gonna leave it. All right. It's not gonna be easy. Meanwhile, you better start working on those guns so they won't get suspicious. Well, maybe. Yeah. Do anything to the mechanism, just so they won't fire. What do you mean? What do you mean, ruin my uh, merchandise, damages? Alex, this is no time to consider profit and loss. My family and yours are in danger. Now you look, Daniel. If, if ever I am going to start me a new life someplace else, well, I need my stock and trade. I am going to get 
my equipment and my wagon out of here intact. All right. I'll come to your teepee tonight and see what we can work out. Well, <clears throat> I would advise that. You see, the chief is presenting me with a squaw tonight. What? Well, uh, so you just, uh, <clears throat> just uh, find here in the rocks. And I'll, uh, I'll find you, you know. You take my orders, and I'll get my wagon out of here, all right? And what are your orders? Well, I ain't thought of them yet. When I do, I'll let you know. Well, that's all the washing I can do for the moment. With all that I got in me mind. Where's Alex? Commander in chief. Right up there in his teepee. Commander in what? I'm just down here waiting for his orders. They got him prisoner, huh? They got him up there. Well, we had to go up there tonight and have that teepee and rescue the old buzzard. Mm, not tonight. Why not? Alex's orders. He's entertaining. Henry. His squaw. him feel independent. Independence for him and, and more scalps out of Boonsburg. Well, whatever it is, it's happening now. <laughs> greetings, greetings on this fine grand morning. The birds are singing and I'm singing too. <laughs> right? <laughs> now, Great Bear and me have spoken together today. As things are going to begin today. We have had good words, brothers. Yes, now we're going to put the guns together today. Going to be put together. We're going to be put bone into bone and joint into joint. But first, you see, we have to uh, hitch my wagon up. The wagon? Well, yes, great bear. And then we have to haul it down to the creek. Because that's where it'll happen. That's where the happening will be. Now, you didn't ask why, but that would be a smart question. Because we need a great target area, you see. We need a great long distance to show the power of my rifles. Here, do it here. What do you mean, and maybe hit somebody or go through a teepee and hit a poor little papoose? No, no, this is a living area. It's not a target area. Am I not right? He is right. Harness up the wagon. Whatever he's got in mind, he's sure something. Well, I wish I knew what he had in mind. Well, I've got an idea that soon, Gonna get some orders. A rifle together. See, so watch carefully. Watch the hands of an old timer. There's, there's magic still in his old hands. Now, first we have the rifle stock. This is genuine walnut. Now, it ain't polished yet, but she will shine like the sunlight and water when she is polished. Right now, I will show you the rifle barrel. Will you look at it? It's good steel. Right. Now, I hammered and I tempered and I fashioned this myself in Lancaster. This is a Pennsylvania rifle. 
You'll notice the long barrel and the short stock. Now, that is the finest weapon in the wilderness. All right. Now, the flintlock. Yes, sir. People used to call me an artist. They did. Would you hold that? They used to call me a master craftsman. And indeed, you know, I do have a great love of mechanical things. You're right, Daniel. He sure is something. You mean he's more than just an old man? Yeah. That it is finished. A real jewel. You like it? Now, give me the powder and the ball. But first, hold that. Hold that now for one minute. All right. Here. This and there. Right. And a bit here. that and we'll tap it down a ah, little ball and patch we'll tap it down briefly now I'll show you I'm going to show you something I'm going to fire her for you to show how sweet and true she is at 100 yards and indeed you know this rifle can hit the eye of a squirrel at 150 yards But first, I gotta put up a target, just hold that. Give me this, please. This, I am going to put at 100 yards away. Yes, on that tree there, across the little bit. What you got in mind? I don't know. We better be ready. Oh, you got company. Well, it might help. Do as you're told. I got a little surprise for them. I've been up all night making guns. What guns? I don't see any guns. Listen, all we can do is what he says. Follow orders. Of which there hasn't been one. Now, brothers, watch. Straight and true. Yes, sir, an old man is going to show you how he can still be steady and clear-eyed, even at three score and ten. Watch. Oh, he can shoot. Seems like it's not the only thing he can do. A rifle like this, my brothers, is easy. It's uh, quick to reload. And she still fires as good, and she stays accurate. Yes, sir. There ain't nothing like the Pennsylvania long gun. It is the uh, finest weapon in the world. You know that. And it's as slick as grease. And it fires just as good at a hundred yards, as easy as it can hit one at six inches. Uh, All right, go ahead, fire your knuckleheads. Over their heads. Shatter it. All right, chief, get in that wagon. Get into the wagon. Move. Move, chief. Space your shots. Crazy if he thinks we can pull him off here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Keep back, my brothers! Keep back, I warn you! Look at that. Look, did you ever see anything like that? Oh! Right. It's a battery. Battery of rifles. Well, what is all this? What do you mean, what's all this? I caught him. Great bear. That's chief of the Shawnees. 
Me, your pa, the old man, Alex Q. Hemming. And I saved me goods. What goods? Where? How? With this. And with these. Well, you great hero hunters. Did you ever bring back a catch like this, did you? And you still think I'm a windbag, do you? Well, answer me, will you? Answer me, you sort of stumps. Answer me! Who the devil cares about answering you? I got a score to settle with that Shawnee. That's a fact. He murdered my cousin. They burned my cabin. And raided I my say, let's listen. Get back! Stand back! The first man that puts a hand on him will get a lead ball. You ain't learned a thing, have you? No respect for an old man. Alex! Oh, good man. You should have made orders. Orders? I'll give you some orders. Alex, you sure messed things up. We got to get him back to his people and right away. I don't know what you're talking about. Why? Because if we don't get him back, they're going to attack us and we're going to be at war with the Shawnee. War? What war? You kidnapped their chief. You don't know what you're talking about. There ain't going to be a war. There's going to be a truce. A truce with the Shawnee? Anyway, what do you think I can't see further than the enemy knows? What do you think we was doing all the time we was riding here? We was talking. Yes, it, it's it. And me and Great Bear, we agreed. Agreed to what? The truce, man. A truce. We've both been living a long time, and we learned a lot. And we learned that there's no sense in a war. So we made a pact. And we're going to have peace. What my brother says is true. There will be no war. And this one, he's a very brave and wise old man. My God, I'll fix you. You son of a gun, Alex. All right. Thank you. Yes, and I could use a little nip, you know. My blue thunder, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good>. He did it! <laughs> Now, oh, hey, there we are. Uh, Mr. Hemming, a spot of my best blue thunder. I need it very much. Now, you might ask, if we attacked Boonesboro, what difference did it make to me? Well, it made a lot of difference. I had to save my town. Did I not? So, I, that night, I, I got this plan working. And I left my poor squaw snoring away in my wigwam. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, I crept out, you know. And I, and I climbed that wagon, and I started to put them guns together. I was as silent as a mouse. Then when I had finished, you see, when I, I covered the whole thing with a tarpaulin so that nobody would be the wiser. Now that was my master plan. <laughs> How about that now? Of course, that's a delightful story. But I'd like to now tell you another one. I'd like to tell you a story about a panther. <coughs> uh, you mean, uh, you mean uh, the biggest panther in all the Alleghenies? The one you killed when you were a young man. <laughs> That's right. You see, there he was, on the banks of the Ohio. He stopped for a drink. And I, I called to him. And uh, he turned to me, and bang! I put a rifle ball through his eyes at 100 yards. One hundred yards. <laughs> yes, sir. That panther knew who done him in. Alex Q. Hemming, that is who. Oh, uh, oh we believe you. Hmm? Don't we, Ben? <clears throat> what we've seen today... Uh... Right. <laughs> 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 